God, praise God, praise God, family. Pastor Basemore here, Church of God Ministries. We're in Baltimore, Maryland, and we want you to know that the Lord loves you. We love you. And as always, he's allowing me to share with you a word for you, a prophetic word of encouragement, a message that will be coming from 2 Kings, the fourth chapter. It's a familiar passage of scripture, and I know that you're going to be blessed as you hear it again, some of you for the first time, but there are levels to God's revelation. And he's always speaking to us as it relates to our situations now, what we are going through now, our situations, our circumstances, our conditions. So as you listen to this message, may the Lord bless you richly and abundantly. May he increase you in your spirit, your soul, and in your body. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you. Praise the Lord. During our church service yesterday, our praise and worship service, uh, we read all of 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 37. I won't be reading all of those verses here. I do encourage you, I know it's a very familiar passage of scripture, and I encourage you to read it again because there's so many levels of revelation, uh, especially as we really allow the Holy Spirit to, uh, to, to lead us deeper into what the Lord is speaking to us today during this intense resurrection season. We know that these verses are speaking to the resurrection of uh, the Shunammite's uh, son. And uh, during this resurrection season that we're in, in this year 2022, uh, the Lord is speaking so much to us. And as I've shared over the years, we are reminded that the new is in the old concealed and the old is in the new revealed. And this passage of scripture, these uh, verses uh, that we're allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us into truth with are allowing us to be encouraged during this season. The Lord wants to encourage us. Yes, there's so much spiritual warfare. There's so much uh, war even in the uh, the earthly realm. Uh, however, the Lord God wants us to be encouraged uh, that he's still on his throne. And so as we uh, were uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to give us this revelation with these uh, verses, these this passage of scripture, this account of what happened with the Shunammite's uh, son and as it related to the prophet Elisha, the man of God, we were just so blessed and I'm going to share just a bit with you and I know that the Holy Spirit will deal with you. The Holy Spirit will give you more revelation. God knows all about your circumstances, your situations. And so there's always a rhema word for you where God is going to speak to you uh, about what you're going through, but not just about what you're going through, what God has for you to do. Um, maybe he is upgrading um, your assignment. Uh, maybe he's taking you to another level. Uh, he's giving you uh, a f some fresh revelation. He's renewing your passion for ministry. Uh, he's giving you a fresh anointing. Whatever it is that the Lord is doing for you in this hour, in this season, we know that he speaks to us as well through his word. And so we were just so encouraged to know that because we have been called, because we have received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, because we are used by God for the advancement of his kingdom, that he is doing so much in the spirit realm to prepare us for how he's using us in the earth realm. And as we uh, uh, were able to get to the last few verses um, of that um, a, a account of what happened with um, the prophet Elisha and the Shunammite's son, I'm just going to read, it looks like verses 32 through 37. When Elisha came into the house, there was the child lying dead on his bed. He went in therefore, shut the door behind the two of them, and prayed to the Lord. And he went up and lay on the child, and put his mouth on his mouth, his eyes on his eyes, and his hands on his hands. And he stretched himself out on the child, and the flesh of the child became warm. He returned and walked back and forth in the house, and again went up and stretched himself out on him. Then the child sneezed seven times, and the child 
opened his eyes, and he called Gehazi and said, Call this Shunammite woman. So he called her, and when she came into him, he said, Pick up your son. So she went in and fell at his feet and bowed to the ground. Then she picked up her son and went out. And we were so blessed, amen, amen, and amen, that we're able to see Jesus Christ throughout the entire Bible. Jesus is in Genesis throughout the Bible to Revelation. And when we are able to allow that revelation of what we received, what we received when we said, yes, Jesus Christ, be Lord and Savior, of our lives, uh, when we invited him in and made him Lord of our lives, there's so much revelation just in these verses that I just read, so much revelation about what happened to us. Remember that uh, when we were dead in sin, and we're thinking here, again, you're just going to have to reread these uh, verses and let the Holy Spirit give you more revelation, but the child was lying dead on his bed, and uh, whoever since we know that uh, when we were dead in sin, we know that the Lord came in and uh, when we received him, and we know that he was able to open up our spiritual eyes, give us the eyes of enlightenment. We know that uh, he was able to uh, breathe a new life into us, make us a new creation in Christ Jesus. And by him opening up our eyes, we are able to see into the spirit realm. And, and, and by um, him putting his mouth on our mouths, well, we are able to receive from God and we're able to speak out of our bellies uh, flow rivers of living water. We're able to speak the thoughts of God um, as he has put his eyes on our eyes. Remember, we have the mind of Christ. And when we have the mind of Christ, we think like Christ. And when we have the mouth, his mouth on our mouths, we speak like the Lord. We speak the very revelation, the prophetic messages, uh, prophetic revelation. We speak what God wants to speak and release into the earth realm. And when he put his hands on his hands, we know that Jesus Christ said, and greater works will we do. And so we are just blessed to be the Lord God's instruments of love and of help and of healing, uh, to know that his hand is upon us and he's using us. He's using us. And whatever it is that he has called us to do, he has already made us ready. And he gives us the resources that we need. He provides all that we need to accomplish our assignments, to accomplish uh, that which uh, he has called us to do on earth as it is in heaven. And so I just am giving you just such a very brief, uh, summary of, 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 of that uh, which uh, was contained in our sermon message on yesterday. Again, I encourage you, read all of this, uh, all of these verses, all of this passage of, of Scripture, even the entire chapter, and uh, let the Holy Spirit just lead you and guide you into more truth, encourage you, comfort you, lift you up, remind you that sometimes it's darkest uh, before the dawn, sometimes when it looks like there's no way out. Uh, you're closer than you think that you are and that God really does have a purpose for your life. I don't care who you are listening. If you are here listening, God has a purpose for your life and God is with you. He's for you. He wants you to accomplish that which he has sent you forth to accomplish. So we're praying for you. We love you in the Lord. And we say, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Until the Lord brings me back again with another prophetic word of encouragement for you and for those that you share our messages with. God bless you and amen.